Howdy, I'm Jeffrey Watts. And I'm Tony Romero. This is Team Mercury's MXCT 300 ASAP final project. Today we'll be going over our manual driving, our compass data handling, some vision tuning, as well as a demo, two demos actually, for pre-umbrella and post-umbrella vision behavior. Our GPS tuning and performance metrics and some existing issues. So for manual driving, we have it set up to function with keyboard inputs obtained by a virtual instrument running in LabVIEW. Uh, it has all sorts of things and allows lots of different behaviors and exact functions to be done. Compass data comes in as an XYZ value representing the magnetic field strength in milligauss. That along with the radian pitch and roll values from our accelerometer are factored into some fun math that results in a tilt compensated angle value for our heading, which is quite useful when using heading to determine which way we want to go. Vision tuning. So our vision tuning, first we had to figure out how to account for whitewashing. This was done with an umbrella. After that, um, in addition to the umbrella, we have blue shifted the acquired image such that everything is bluer than normal, thus allowing orange to stand out since orange is the diametric opposite of blue. This is a video of our vision driving based on a box before we did any of the blue shifting or the umbrella. This is an example of us taking a left turn while having the blue shifting and umbrella stuff active. Oh boy, did you get that? Did you get that? All right. Now turn right. We know left works. Now turn right. GPS tuning. We had to tune our heading offsets basically by testing where the target was and where we were and using all four quadrants to determine what exactly the angle would be in each. For the performance matrix for GPS we derived the angle within 15 degrees of the compass. The, ac the accelerometer had to be derived using pinch and roll within 5 degrees from the measured values and then we eliminated the noise and the accelerometer from the vibrations and, and the motor field using a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 284 hertz. Remaining issues that we had was with our GPS satellites. We occasionally drop below the required number of satellites, which is seven. Um, six and under, you have iffy data, doesn't work so well. We also had issues with communication speed and data updates on the GPS itself. Uh, that has its own problems. Thanks for watching. This has been our MXCT 300 final project. I'm Jeffrey Watts. And I'm Tony Romero. And thanks for checking us out.